This is, this is Nat's Worth Production. Welcome to the Black Jungle. Only strange things can happen here. We don't know what the hell is going to happen on this card. I'm Helbos, and I'm here with my broadcast partner, MJ. What's going on, boys? First fight of the night, Hashish Hands versus Hendricks. Hashish Hands is an unpredictable boxer. He's got knockout power, and we'll be looking for one here tonight. Oh, that was a nice jab. Oh, another nice jab. Old Moroccan lion. Nice move of the body. You see, they're they're in the center of the octagon trading. It's going to be interesting to see who pushes each other back and forth, or who's going to get the. Uh, Ashish, but how could you not see these combos again? That was a beautiful combo. That was a one, two, three to the body. Ooh, missed on the Superman. No, I got him with the ice cake. He's got to be careful with the head movement. Oh, that spinning was... elbow. It only takes one or two big strikes like that, and you can get rocked. I think Hendrick should try to time some more elbows. Oh. <laughs> you know me, guys. Elbow it out. Nice jabs. Both guys are fighting for the center of the octagon. Yeah, you know, I think if one of them could push each other back a little bit more than they're uncomfortable, then they could actually start hitting them pretty hard, landing the shots. Like, like Hendricks could give him a push and then start his combos. Or even clinch up. That was a nice switch body kick. I'd use that one a lot. Now, I don't think any of these guys are going to be grappling in this match. <laughs> what do you think, MJ? No, this is kickboxing all the way. Maybe if we see a knockdown, a follow-up on the ground, but I don't see anyone shooting for any takedowns. I don't even think they would do a follow-up. Oh. Yes. Ashish is spreading out his attacks really well. Mixing it up, all three levels, head, legs, and body. Smoke's trying his best, but Hashish is just a step ahead, maybe even two. But, uh, 
You know, in this game, somebody no. could get slapped. That was crazy. That could have been bad. Yeah. Has he stolen spinning shit now? Oh, man. These guys are really starting to trade with each other. Hash with the flash. Got good defense, too. He checked that kick. Yeah, that was a good round by Boy. Hey, they pushed the pace really good in that fight. They're both missing, like, a, a close to a quarter of their stamina on that. I think if they keep going like this, someone's that, getting finished. body shots that he was going for that we were talking about. Yeah, he mixes it up. Kick to the body, too. He's firing back, though. Old Wolfpack firing back. But at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure it's a 9-10 for Hashish. I'd give that round to Hashish for sure. But it doesn't look like 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 Wolfpack is beat here. Hendricks isn't out of it. He can still do something. They, they, neither one is hurt that bad. Let's see if he can do something else. But he definitely can't stand in front of Hashish anymore. He can't stand in front of him. He's going to get hurt. I don't know that he has any other option. I'd go the MJ route. Take him down. <laughs> I, he hasn't shown any any interest at all in wrestling. He hasn't gone for a clinch. He hasn't even shown. Oh, oh he's smoked right. him. Smoked him, leaning he's into nice the knee. Beautiful. Pushing him back with the lead side kick. Oh, nice head kick. Ouch. Hashish's head health is a little bit down. He ate a big he's hook there nice off the elbow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, he sidestepped it and drained him with a hook. He, he sidestepped that, so yeah. That's a risky now he's move. picking his shots. He's not rushing in when he's got him rocked, too. He's, he's letting the finish come to him. He's not being too aggressive for it. You know, Hashish is known for being a brawling headhunter. I'm pretty sure he's going to try to end this with his hands. Let's see if he uh, starts rallying up his combos. I know Hashish for smoking weed and knocking people out. <laughs> right on cue with the big wheel kick. Yeah. It doesn't look like we're going to see any grappling in this match at all. No, there's no way. Oh. <laughs> you were just saying there, Mystic Mac? Right, right. <laughs> that, he, that was that was a, a little bit of a desperation. But this is good. He needs to hang out here and clear his head off. If I'm him, I'd hang on for a minute. Get my head together. Hendrick should have done this. Way earlier in the round, maybe. Yeah, even earlier, there's definitely a level of damage that's been done already. Where it's going to be hard for him to stick around when and, they get and back. That's out. why it's important for people to practice all MMA and not just striking, because you don't know if you're going to have an advantage on somebody somewhere. You might just have the hardest fight and then put an arm bar on them, and it might be the easiest one. You know? That was so you that was damage. that was a beautiful sweep he just did there. He faked he faked the right. small transition to the full guard and then went canceled and went up to the full guard sweep. That's beautiful. Couple hits and then he got up himself. He didn't give him a chance to to trap his arm or anything there. Oh, oh! fuck! Smoked him. It's it's nasty from there if you can hit your shots. Yeah, still, to be quite honest, he wasn't hitting, but it still looked nasty. It's not it's not looking good for him right now. He's got his back against the cage, too. He's pushing him outside that black line. I oh, think Hashish needs to push it back a little bit more, and he can get a knockout right now. I, I I agree with you. I don't think now. I think he's got to wait to the next round. But I think I think if he keeps this up, there could be a knockout coming in this next round. But, and Hashish hey, can end this with zero seconds left on the clock. But uh, come on. Hey, come on. How, how, how tough is Hendricks? Huh? He's sticking in there, man. I've, I've never heard of this guy before this fight. I know his name now. He's, he's taking hashish on a uh, lead savage to the third round. I know his name now. Uh, Let's see what happens here in the third. Sometimes it takes a fight like this for a fighter to go to that next level, you know? So we'll see how he does right now. He's still got a chance. He can still... Oh, fuck. Oh, that's dangerous. That's how he's Hashish coming out aggressive. I was about to say, Hedrick looks good right now in this third round already. Nice body kick. It's too late, though, maybe. He just needs to get a knockout. Mm. He needs to look for it. 
Nasty switch kick. He desperately needs a finish, man. Yeah, and I I'm couldn't see. Oh, not Hashish, uh, Hendrix, I apologize. Hendrix is not winning this fight on points. No way. He's going to have to catch him with something and, and put him away if he wants to win this fight. As he's doing exactly what he needs to do. To oh, the oh! oh, man. That's exactly what he needed. He needs to keep hitting him. Hashish's <laughs> head help is coming back quick, but that rocked him. Jeez. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh, they're 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 having a stare down now. Who's gonna blink first? They're both looking for a big shot. They're starting to screw. Oh, nice combo trying to break through the block. Man, Hedrix looks like he has a bit of a concussion going on. The ref's starting to get a little close. Oh, Ashy's getting through. He's got him against the cage, too. You don't want to be here. You got to get off the cage if you're Hendrix. You got to circle off. And Hashi knows that. He's catching him, moving to that side. That's that's all Hendrix has at this point. He's got to hit a, he's got to hit a big one. He's running out of time. Oh, beautiful, he's rocked. Beautiful, beautiful combo. Oh, oh nice no. Shot. He's looking for a finish. Oh, oh my oh, God, he almost got it. <laughs> That's oh, danger. God, that that, that is crazy. danger. These guys are putting high risk, high reward shots out there right now. Oh, beautiful. Nice. Clinched him up and wrapped nice. him. Nice. This Elbows. is beautiful. This is what I want to see from him. Going for the double elbow special. Oh, the, nice. The that was beautiful. Hashish is showing out right now, man. I'm not kidding right now. This might be the first fight of many, but Hashish is showing out for this card. Hendrick staying in there. You know Hashish wants it. Oh, look at that. Oh, little teleportation whoa. action. <laughs> That's how you know a guy has power. When he fucking touches you, you go flying across the cage like that. Another rock. Can he finish it off here in the last seconds? He got him out of there. Oh! He got him out of there. Had another knockout to the record. Hashi's put him out. He told you he had heavy hands coming in. But hey, how tough is Hendrix? He took it right to the last second, didn't he? Hendrix is so tough, man. You know, like I said earlier, it's going to take one of these fights to take them to the next level. I know he's going to learn from this fight, and he's going to be back on the next card. No doubt. Well, he's definitely going to learn going against Hashi. He, you can see, he was he was just a, a level above. He was, uh, he was definitely... A little bit better in there tonight. At no point did you really think it was going to go any other way. Good job, though. I want to see them both fight again. Ashies with another knockout. Monster. I want to see him in a big fight next. All right, the next fight, we got MJ versus Cheese. MJ versus Peterson? Cheese Peterson, yeah, that's right, yeah, it's Peterson. I don't know much about this Peterson. But this MJ guy, I hear he's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> This is pretty typical coming from MJ, and I'm gonna kind of take over a little bit as far as commentary goes. Not too much, but uh, you know, this is pretty typical when it comes to MJ. I don't know the other guy pretty well, but he's showing off some real great grappling. He's got the fight where he wants it to be. Uh, man, look, it's the first minute of the fight. It's already where he wants to be. There's no way he's gonna take any damage right now. And, and that's the whole point of the game, is to not take damage and to, you know, do something to your opponent. Peterson's starting to get beat up a little bit here from top. Now. This guy kind of looks like Sean O'Malley. What do you think, MJ? <laughs> yeah, he was a little throwing me off with the with the purple hair there, but it looks cool. It looks cool. He's showing he's showing good defense from the bottom. He's showing good defense. He did an excellent get up right there, where from the half guard he went to the That that's probably the best way to get out of that position. So right that shows here, you know if I'm Peterson, I would just pull. <laughs> 
out close. Pop guard got side control. See, he held L1 and went down on the stick, which takes longer because that's advanced. But if he were to step full half guard itself, it would have been faster. And he needs to look at the grapple advantage above. See how it's red? That's how he got up because of the grapple advantage. And he pulled guard. That, that shit was crazy. What the hell? Well, I have a feeling he's going to be looking to block the throw, so I want to throw flowers to break them out. Nice groundwork by MJ right now. MJ is playing kind of stage. Like, uh, <laughs> Peterson's starting to look like he's drowning a bit in water. I'm not going to lie. Let's we'll see if he can do anything in the stand-up department. Oh, the match They're trading right now. I really didn't take too much from that trade though, to be honest. Nice takedown. I'm just trying to put a pace on him and push the pressure a lot. Mix it up, striking, clinching, wrestling, all just overwhelming. He's showing good he's showing good defense on the ground though. I'm looking for a sub here to put it away. Yeah. Alright, looking for a sub here. Uh, Pearson started to escape even though he has a uh, stamina, but I think they're starting to catch up on him. It doesn't seem like he's going to catch the sun, but I believe he's still going to stay on top of the ground and then place. It's always a good idea to throw the up there. It's all time of control and all that. It all does add up a little bit, so. That looks pretty crazy, right? I I, I, I could tell he was good in the first round. He, he, he showed that he could survive off the ground. I, I, I didn't want to make any big mistakes, but I was just pushing the pace. I got a pretty decent double leg and a pretty decent, you know, wrestling game, so I was able to get him down, but he's, he's no joke. He's got some defense on him. Yeah, this is a, a pretty good fight. Um... He's just definitely struggling. I think that was a 10-8 round. And uh, let's just see if he can regroup in the round two. Let's see if he can start this fight back over again. Looks like he's going to try to. It's always good when you go into the second round and you have four life. Nice hook. MJ got that bit of a Khabib effect with the strikes. Oh, nice expert. Yeah, he's getting he's getting. He's a little bit vulnerable, though, for sure. Yeah, he's opening up a little bit. He's showing that he feels the pressure. Uh, I'm gonna keep him here. And trade with him. Nice trades. He's showing good side to side footwork too. He's busy. Oh, honestly, MJ should have been up right when I said it. He went right for the takedown. I know from the first round that this is a comfortable position, so this is a great position for anyone to be in. Everyone is supposed to just work that box. These shots really hurt. And yet again, just drowning in water, like I said. Might as well put a wa like a fucking towel on his face. Yeah, it's, it's not it's not a fun place to be. It's not a fun place to be. But right here, guys, you see how it's red? Oh, that was a nice block, but... See how it's red? He should have been pulled half guard. Or he should have tried. Well, you got to get up. This is where he wants to be. You got to be taking the rope. Oh! He blew up a kiss! Oh, you got a little sleep. That was super fast. Nice shot placements. against the, the fence and I think a lot more people should be putting uh, others up against the fence it's a it's a messed up position if you know how to work it absolutely it's the third dimension a lot of people really ignore it they know they'll stand up they know the ground but they don't really go back to that wrestling style oh nice body kick MJ's uh, looking like he's feeling pretty confident right now to the point where he doesn't even really have to rely on his ground game as much. He's just kind of opening up the stand up a little bit. So when you see something there, then if they're good. Nice body shots again, and he blew him another kiss. It's all low. That is rude. Nice. Nice 
strikes. She's starting to look like. Oh! I'm about to say he's starting to look like a good striker, but this is MMA. Didn't see that one coming. He shot for a power double. He's slamming. Showing he can block a couple of transitions, too. Nice elbows. Kind of a fuck you back to him. And even looking at the stats, just, you know, MJ definitely won that fight. He almost doubled the stats. When you have a success on the ground, it opens up the feet. And then if you have a success on the feet, now he has no fucking idea what's coming this round. So, just, you know, don't worth it. That's, that's all I'm trying to do. Not walk into a big shot. When it's a chance. But he's showing his top. I'm hitting him with everything. Coming back and fighting back. Not just sitting there doing nothing. Back. Oh. But, um, you know, yet again, John Ding and Water. It's not going to go so far, but um, it's a bit of a losing fight, to be honest. Just, just kind of like the last fight, you know? Right away, just make him say, like, oh man, <laughs> put him on his back, he's not where he wants yeah, to be. Yeah, that, that would deter anybody. Just start beating him once in the body. He's got to start working that grapple advantage, try faking the bar, try hitting. Well, that's the thing. If someone's gonna let you sink on, I mean, why would they make it? Right? If you're just gonna let me punch you in the face, why would I stop? Good get up, though. Got back to the seat. And again, <laughs> again, that's two for two on his team I don't even think I'm defended. I didn't see them coming. I did not expect it. I mean, I don't think it was a good idea to grapple in many ways, but there well, are other options you have. Know, that's how fast they can switch around on the ground. You gotta be patient. People appreciate how patient you gotta be. Yeah, gotta be patient. 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 Certain submissions like this one, it's a good one to go for because you have a high chance of hitting the submission. And also, if you don't get it, you're going to move the submission. It's not a bunch of Yeah, you're just, you know, a little headlock action. Even though he gets out of it looking in the yard. Another choke. I mean, honestly, there's just he's just trying to take the chances away from standing up at all. He's just trying to chase that finish too. Well, he's shown really good position defense. I wouldn't mind. He doesn't panic. Even with no no stamina, he does beat him pretty clean. But if I'm Peterson, I'm doing anything to stand up. You know you're going to lose a decision, but you got to get up. He's doing too bad on the ground, though, compared to other people. Nope, nope, he's doing good. He's doing good, but he's surviving. Oh, man. Is this man going for a new bar? I love my new bars. really good there was no doubt i felt in control the whole time but he's good i'd like to see him fight again on one of our cars maybe against hendrix beautiful highlight of him just sitting there <laughs> <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. This, All this, three this, judges score the contest. 30-27. We're in the winner by unanimous decision. No, MJ, no time. That's all right. Now we got the third fight. I don't have to talk about my fight, but I can talk about these guys. Now we got Unicorn versus Logan Hall. Now, Unicorn, he's got that jiu-jitsu. He's got that wrestling. Logan Hall, he's got that wrestling. So this is going to be interesting to see how this one goes. As two guys who are definitely not scared to go to the ground. We'll bang it out on the team. You know, I've never actually seen Logan on fight, so it's going to be interesting. Uh, everyone heard of the legendary 39 takedowns. <laughs> One three-round fight. That's fucking unheard of. <laughs> so, I've never heard of Kush starts before either. Yeah, the unicorn. Oh, this should be a good one. But I do know that Logan off has a... Okay, it's unicorn. All right. Oof, leaving off of the poop. Not gonna lie, I like Unicorn's outfit. <laughs> unicorn just wants to have fun. And oh, right off rip. Right off rip, it's a double leg. Logan off is on his back. But he's comfortable you know, on really the ground. Interesting. It's interesting because Logan off is known for going for a lot of takedowns. So let's see how... Oh, man. Right off rip looking for an armbar. It's tight. I but, would not want to be in this position. I mean, he can still get out with the slam. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he didn't see the slam. Unicorn is ahead. going to go right beside the goal here. Unicorn wants to be on top. That's why his unit, I expect uh, a lot of what we're seeing right now. Man, that's a Looking lot for the Kimura. He blocked it. He blocked the Kimura. That was very nice. Looking to move Crucifix. Denied by logging off. And then he recovers half guard. Right to guard. Two minor transitions, hits him with the elbows off his back. Unicorn got the posture up though. Now he's working a little GDP. Oh, he's showing some smart grapple too. I mean, he's not on top right now, but he's being pretty smart. He's that's, getting on top at the that's a That's a beautiful sweep of Logan Hall right there. He set it up with one transition. And then just, yeah. Yeah, now he ends up on half guard. Right to side control. Looks for the posture like up. Gets it. Too. His character looks real. I, oh. I like Logan's character. Back to the scene. How good was that? Both boys having success. Oh, and he takes him down. He says, no, we're going back. I didn't get my full turn on top. <laughs> oh, beautiful arm trap. Right to mount. What's he going to do with it? Posture's up. Great grappling going on. This right is here. this is a good. If you like grappling, this is a fun match to watch. I'll tell you that right now. I'm enjoying this one. Excellent denial. That's a that's a quick transition that Unicorn took away too. You gotta really be sitting on that one or have just dog tier reflexes. And really right here, what's important is going on is the top control, you know, going through to the points, and, and uh, Unicorn is hitting him, trying to gain points. Well, so they're, both, like they're both doing a great job, because Unicorn is touching and touching and touching and hitting them with shots and posturing up and touching them with significant strikes. Wow, Logan also doing a good job at, at not taking too much damage. He's right right there. now, they're basically fighting over ground control. Yeah, they're, and they're pretty evenly matched in the first round. Oh, he's laying some good, good shots here, though. Logan, I was liking this side control. He thinks he's got something there. Beautiful round by both boys. Yeah, that was a really fun match of grappling. Both going for the takedown, both looking for scoops, both attacking. It'll be interesting to see how they come out. There was only the one armbar attempt, and it wasn't that deep, but a little bit of everything on the ground right now. All right, coming up on round two, Unicorn versus Logan. Right into side control. I'm going to 
Nice. Trying to get that grapple control. That's how we're recovering the half guard. You see how he's taking his time grappling too? Hopefully he postures down, which he didn't. Not that time. The block and he looks for the Kimura. The unicorn is going to take a shot off his back now. You got to look at Logan Ross' initial defense, and he's way out in front. You can tell he's he's defended many times before. This is not his first time in the Kimura. He gets up though. Interesting. He might maybe he, had no, yeah, he might have had no stamina. He might have no stamina. Either way, power double right back down. Logan Ross showing. I think he's three for three on the skate pass. He's pretty much taking him down right now. Now he's working the body. for the mount because we've seen it before. Goes for the back sweep, a load seen it before. Goes for the mount again. There we go. Posture up and attack. This is definitely a, a chess match on the ground right now. These boys are matching each other. Oh the he knows he's found something from that position. That's good work by Logan Hall. Yeah. Oh, man. Look at these shots coming he's, in. He's doing the most damage in the fight from that position. But he's getting the side control and posturing up. He's having a hard time. Yeah, he does. He needs to. He's found something that works. Why not? Beautiful sweep. Oh, unicorn takes his time. He waited for Logan off to move, so his automatic transition came up. Oh, I guarantee you he's mad he gave that sweep up. <laughs> that was a good setup by Logan. Hit him with the long transition up. He takes the, the half guard to use it to get up. Just go, ooh! Oh, Spin nice. kick! You didn't know we had that, did you? That's that balanced arc type. That burst style. And a good take though. The best thing about his takedowns, too, is he's landing in side control when he's getting it. So he's not just getting the takedown, but he's putting him in a great position to be good. Because even when Unicorn's pushing him back to half guard, he's still in a position to do some more damage. This is clearly Logan on ground right now. Beating him up. They smash, they're smashing each other. This is beautiful. Great round, great round. The yeah, first round, one. the first round was pretty close. The first round was pretty close. I don't know. That's, it was a tough one to score, but this one was clearly the love. Oh, Starting round three. Glove touch, and here we go. Spinning head kick landed oh, again. Oh my goodness! He's two for two on his nice. spinning head kicks, and he's about five for five on his face ball. Looks for the Kimura, denied. Look at Tyson to get the grapple ability. Look for it. Oh, Kush is wise to it now. He's not letting him pop up anymore. Beautiful fucking grappling sequences going on, man. Lovely reversals. They're denying transitions. Man, we got a great camp. This is an awesome card so far already the way that these fights are going. That was a beautiful series of transition by Logan. He used the grapple advantage for blocking the get-up. He went right to backside control immediately to take the back. Beautiful. And look, now he's taking it a different all by uniform there. He says, fuck it. He lets him get up against the cage, though. Ooh, trading uppercuts. It's rolling a little bit. He might hit him with his horn. I don't know. Oh my, another takedown. Have we seen a stuffed takedown in this fight yet? These boys are taking each other down at will. All offense. Yes. Aside from the uh, the transition denials. The transition denials are due to all the ground work. Newport's got to make something happen here. He's got to hurt him. All beautiful arm trap right back to his position. Look at the box up. No, right to look at the board. Seems to be escaping so far. 
He's got no chance of hitting us. <laughs> yeah, let it go. Takes the position. Goes to his up. Goes to the other. Oh, he went to the inside. Transition to half guard. Blocked by Logan Off. Couple elbows. Another inside. Got it. Half guard. Logan Off's just touching him. Giving him the grapple advantage. Goes for the move. That's it. It's looking like the fight's going to be going all three rounds. So it seems unless somebody gets a quick submission. Logan Off's chain is grappling together very well. He'll touch him a couple times with you, man. Then he'll transition and then boom. Immediately going to cover transition. Same way a boxer might throw a dab cross. You go with side control and then from the side control right Getting the damage down again, like we said. He, he used a lot of stamina. Just catch him. <laughs> oh, he didn't get a strike off. He should have fucking thrown something. Oh, another takedown. Because they hit every takedown. <laughs> this is great. 20 seconds left in the round. Going for a twister? I don't think you got the time to hit it, Bubba. That'd be crazy, though. Well, this one's going to decision. I don't know how they're going to score this one, but I would say Logan all born. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. Logan all get a little bit more. I would I would give it to him. I don't know if you give it to him 30-27 or if you give it to him 29-28. Either way, both guys fought great. They're clearly both very good on the ground. They'll give a lot of people problems. So. Good job by both those boys. Look forward to seeing both of them fight. Yeah, you know what? I wouldn't mind seeing Logan off fight Hashi's hands. He had a big win earlier today. That'd be a good battle. Good grab for striker match. Yeah, sure. I'd like that fight. Beautiful. Logan good win. Off. You know, he, he don't even look cut. He looks like he's ready to fight again. <laughs> he looks like he can go again right now. That was a great fight. That was so a good fight. fight uh, we got Jen by Murda versus Little John. That's what's up. That is what's up. Both of these guys are good fighters. So it's going to be interesting to see how they come out. Jen by Murda is pretty balanced. He's got knockout power, but he will take it from the ground. Little John, he's trying to knock the block off. He wants to knock uh, it out. Knock it out back. More of a stand up fight. Uh, if there is any grappling, oh, right, go right into it. Yeah, he's putting a big output. He doesn't have a lot of damage. Yeah, he's, 
putting a lot out there. Hit him with some good sauce. It's also a five round fight for whatever reason. Oh jeez, I didn't even realize that. I hope they got their EPO. This doesn't look like it's going to be five rounds. Beautiful over here. They're both hitting each other with some good shots now. When Little John throws the shots, he's throwing them in the numbers. He's throwing them in the feet. He throws a lot of numbers. Not a lot of just one shot. Ooh, one, two, three up top. Great kickboxing costume. John looks very official. He looks like a, an amateur fighter. Uh, John is fighting very clean. I like. He looks real good right now. Just standing, keeping the pace up. Even though he's standing in the middle of the shot, he's, he's using a lot of stamina to do it. And he's using the shot. Ben might be trying to just out tough him here. Oof, trapped him with a good hook there. Oh, he trapped him with a clean hook. Oh, he trapped him with a clean hook. He needs to follow up there. He needs to follow up. Oh, he's got him with a clean hook. You're going to lose your normal state. You've got to follow up. Against top level guys, that can do the difference. If I'm Johnny, I'm just trying not to get hit with a big shot here. And if I have Jeff by Murder's corner, I'm screaming at him. Absolutely, that was ridiculous. That's silly. I don't know if these guys got some kind of thing between them or what, but I would have been in there throwing shots. Put him away. Get out there, get the win. Move up the card. But I think at the same time, I think he did take the round with that. I think Johnny was landing the better shots and he's looking a little oh, cleaner. Really nice overhand. But yeah, he landed a couple good shots. He hit a, he hit a cross right before it too. I think it's, it's one nothing right now to Jen. I wonder if John's got the stamina though. He's landing so much good stuff, but it looks like. It's It looks like they both want to counter a little bit. You know, Jet by Murder is looking for those stiff shots. Jen's also fighting, he's fighting the southpaw. So that, that backhand is hidden. So a nice straight or a hook can come out, you might not see it. Just because it's hidden by your body. There, there it is. That hidden, that hidden ball. I mean, he's winning the fight, but man, if, if you lose when doing this stuff, it looks really bad on you. He's playing a dangerous game. But I guess he feels like there's no threat. Well, so far. Quickly with shots like that. Genocide Stevens, uh, which is Jim Bob Murder, is going to be a headhunter, but he's 
one to the body because he's noticing that his, his opponent has been tired. They're both looking for big shots right now. John's standing tall, firing back, but he's hurt. Oh, Connor with the left again. I can understand that, you know, but finish the goddamn fight. And he's going against Jag, the mighty Jaguar. There Elbows. I am. That's me, guys. That's me. Uh. Elbows is very well rounded, and Jag is an absolute black belt on the ground. They'll very balance themselves. This will be a good one. They're fighting for the center of the cage immediately. Man, look at the age difference on these guys. <laughs> yeah, you got an old man, <laughs> old man against the young buck. Both guys being smart, picking their shots in the early going, no worse than anything. Ooh, looking for a Ooh, big overhand. Oh, he took overhead. a lot of his head health from that overhand. Oh, and he rocked him early. Big hook. Looking for the knockout for sure, the whole entire fight. Very smart, hanging back, letting his head health recover, not rushing in there. He's been in a ton of fights, so he's got a lot of experience, he knows. But at the same time, Hobos is very experienced too. He's taking his time. You know, it's interesting that I have a powerhouse, but I have Yair Rodriguez's stance. Both boys keeping the distance. Nice sidestep on the straight kick. Ooh, good foot move by Jag. Both these boys showing a little footwork. Standing in the pocket, trading a little bit. Jag gets his back off the cage. Helmo gets his back off the cage. Very good work by both. Helmo's mixing it up, looking for the clinch and keeping the position. No keeping doubt, this is cage. a super high level fight, for sure. Like, <laughs> when I was playing the fight, I was like, man. Nice head nice. kick. Oof, nice straight. Oof, so nice flying knee. These boys are mixing it up now. Jag looks for a takedown. Elbows gets the stuff, gets him the clinch. I didn't even expect for me to Moves stuff him that. against the cage, takes his back. A couple of these to the leg here. Oh, Jag flips back around. Oh, they're grappling against the cage now. He's working them. Like I said earlier about using the cage, I try to implement it as best as I can. Yeah, this is beautiful. Going low, now going high. Jag slams right away. Now, this is a dangerous position to be in. You don't want anyone to have your back. But Jag has been here so many times, and he's comfortable. Anywhere on the ground, he's looking for a sweep. He's looking for a sub. And you know, Jaguar is a black belt on the ground, so I'm trying to get on top of him so he doesn't get on top of me, man. You know. Absolutely, absolutely. He is the only man on Team Cabbage with the thousand sub badge. He's looking for a little knee bar action right now. He doesn't like it. Lets it go. Good job getting back to his feet. Ooh, it breaks away. He needs to get his back off the cage. Very good. Both of them meeting in the middle now. Letting the round run out. That was a very good round by both guys. Both of them were landing some good shots, but I think Hellboy did a little bit more on them. He definitely rang his bell a couple times. There's just a, a power factor difference within that first round, and you can see it in the replay. 
Yeah, when I was touching him, it hurt me a lot more. Tag with the jiu-jitsu guy is scary on the feet, but he doesn't quite have the same power. <clears throat> but he's got technique. Ooh, clean hook to start off the second round. Elbow fires right back. Trading. Oh, beautiful, oh! beautiful judo throw. Gets the clinch and throws him right to side control. Chad Mills, back side control. And then we got the striker side. archetype taking down the grappling archetype. The Jags where he wants to be. He's got you in his guard, and that's a very comfortable place. He's probably looking to get a transition block and then go for a sub or go for a sweep. Let's see what Helmholtz can do in his guard. See, he's attacking and gets the sweep. Very well done. Elbows moves to spawn. Beautiful. Instantly pops back up. Whoa, they're trading. Oh, it, man, that one. Been around. Ryan's bell. Again? Oh, he defends it this time. I thought he hit another. That one has some sneaky hooks. That yeah, left hook is nice. He's a gritty veteran. He's got a lot of experience. He's fought a lot of top players in this game. You can find them in tournaments at any given time. He's pushing to get the fight to the ground a little more now. There we go. Right to side he control. He should be looking for more of that. Now, this is really where he wants to be. Oh, but Elbow gets him back to guard. I'm sure Jag would like nothing more than to have his back. Let's see if he can work his top game. He's got two minutes, so there could be subs to find here. It does have a little That's bit of a time. Lot of time on the clock. It is. It doesn't probably doesn't want to be in guard though, but oh he's trying. He's trying with the leg lock. Going for all kinds of leg submissions. Look how close that is. Oh! <laughs> no, he's he's definitely he's definitely calm. You can see he goes for a tons of sub. He doesn't get too far off the center. And he knows when to let go to keep position. Going for the up sweep, transitions to the sprawl. Oh, he goes right for a guillotine. This is good. Multiple submissions attempts, which is also giving him a lot more ground control going for points. The beautiful thing about guillotine is you can let it go late to keep the position. And in some cases, you can even use it just to sweep right the mount. But now he's got the back. He wishes he had this position with two minutes left, I tell you that. Is he going to try to get some shots off before the end of the round? Oof, he's touching him in the ear. Elbow's starting to get beat up a little bit. Yeah, he's the posture up and ring. Oh, these are big shots. It only takes a few to end the fight. His stamina is low, though, and the time is against him. Oh, that was some good success by Jag at the end of the round. That was a really good round by both guys. Really good round. You can see the stats right here that Jaguar clearly won that round. <laughs> Now, we got I a 1-1 one, one going, going into the third. 1-1 into the third, right. In my opinion. Both guys look good. It's pretty much played out as you might think, where when it's on the feet, Hellboys is doing the better, but Jags got him on step on the ground. Touching who's, gloves out of respect. Who's going to, who's gonna like, push their wool here? Throwing Hellboys right on the other one. one. Clean hook. Ooh, he got out of it and fired by oh. That is big. He smoked him. That puts pressure on Jag right off rip. He's already down in the last round with 30 seconds in. And he got rocked. But he's letting his head recover. He's not eating big shots. So when he does separate, he will be able to take a punch or two. Very smart. Elbows is playing the clinch game. He's showing he knows a little something. Flipping him around. Yeah. Flipping him around. Flipping him around. Jag's going for a sweep, but Elbows has seen it before. Elbows content to just keep him here and touch him. Punch, punch, punch. Oh, going for the rear naked. Wouldn't this be something? Wouldn't this be something if Elbows was to tap out Jag? No, he knows better. Let's it go. He knows. Keep the position. Well done. Armbar? Oh, he blocked it. He knows, but he can't help it. 
He goes for another rear naked. Why not? Pretty even to start it off. He didn't get the chain. That chain would have been huge. That chain would have put him way ahead. Oh, he got he got the sweep off it. Jang's got something to do. I wouldn't be surprised if he looks for another footlock here. Oh, no, he got up. Big, whoa, whoa, he spun him around with that hook. That was a big shot on the slip hook. Looking for another elbow, of course. Jang showing that capoeira. Oh, nice kick. Oh, the hell is it? Living up to his name. He's got him hurt. Oh, jeez. Oh! Big overhand left right through the block. That was a clean oh. knockout. That was a clean knockout by elbow. That was a great fight by both guys, but that was clean. Oh, going straight right, into the next Right match. into the next fight. We got Bad Bully versus Caraway. Bad Bully is a mean dude. You can just see by his face pads. He doesn't like anybody. And I expect him right, to try so to just be Bad a Bully's, savage in here. Bad Bully's character name is Ezekiel, and his name is Caraway. Caraway, I don't know much about, but he's got a tough fucking test here in his first fight. We got some matching colors going on, blue and red. Let's see who wins. Well, Caraway landed the first shot, so he can say he was winning at some point. Nice. Yo, with a spinning back kick. Showing really good movement. Ooh, Caraway sitting on his punches. Hey, he got out of the way of that. Very good. He traded a spinning back kick back, but landed. Nice combo by Bad Bully. Caraway showing he's got a good ability to lead and step out of the way of his spinning kicks. It's going to be a finish. Oh, oh. <laughs> they're spinning now. One, two, three. And they sidestep, fires back with a body hook, and then a straight upstairs. Both guys mixing up their strikes. Another spinning back kick. I think Caraway needs to keep sidestepping. Uh oh. Oh! Oh! oh. And he hit him with oh, the rock no. and oh, oh, He's he keeping the pressure. Oh, oh bad bully doesn't oh, finish people either. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. He hit him with the elbow. I'd still, same thing, I'd like to see him finish that. Ezekiel taking over, yeah. A lot of these strikers need to start finishing their fights because once they start Oof. getting... Oh, man. Once they start getting further in the ranks, it's going to get harder. These guys are both pushing the pace. <laughs> that kick is so risky. Bad Bully is putting the pressure on him in the first as he's known to do. Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> that elbow came out of nowhere. What a first round win for Bad oh, Bully. No. I told you this guy was me. Yeah, that was insane. That was a great knockout. Look at his tattoos. He looks scary. Wouldn't want to run into that guy down a dark alley. Oh, no, no. Oh, man. That was a vicious elbow. He's going to look like Juliana Pena from yesterday from the <laughs> yeah, he's gonna need a He's going to need a medical suspension. Oh, jumping right into the next one. We got Camus versus Kara. Famous is an elite kickboxer with fantastic uh, footwork. This is Mustafi, the, the Mustafi I know, and I know Popcorn. This is an awesome match. I love this matchup. If this is the, if the same people that I know. I haven't seen Tara fight before, but I know Camus is right. outstanding on Popcorn, the feet. Popcorn, Tara has so much experience. Trust me when I say this. These He's guys are meeting in the middle, and they're fighting for it right now. They're both staying the same as mine. He he's he spars a lot with Moroccan lions, so I believe he's gonna bring a similar style. Ooh. Popcorn 
known for uh, a ground fighter and submitting people. He looks like a kickboxer in this fight. Yeah, he does. He used to be on uh, one of my teams before. And this is mixing up his crane kick high and low. That's going to confuse you as the fight goes on. Ooh, he ate a knee there going for a body shot. That could have been bad. He's got a chin on him. I like Mustafa's shorts, man. Those look cool. I like that these guys are fighting that all three oh, ways. Oh, that's it. Oh, he got him back. Didn't get the rock, but oh, he threw one back well hurt. Look at that. Oh, no. Oh, he ate another one. Chicken dance again. Into a switch, into a lead roundhouse. Oh, another roundhouse to the body. A knee to the body. Popcorn's starting to get beat up now. Oh, man. Camus is really picking his shots here. I have no idea why Popcorn oh. hasn't shot for a takedown yet. He is known as a grappler, and he is striking completely in this fight. Amos has landed about 20 really good shots to the body already here in this first he, round. Popcorn should have picked Wrestler Dominator or something. Oh, green uh, kick, switch kick, switch kick. He's seeing off on him. Out right here against he, a former cage rage fighter. Amos is teeing off on him right now. Uh, he's standing tall though. Para is not backing down. Mustafa is showing off against somebody that really has some credentials too. Like literally, he is beating him up here. Another rock, another switch, another. Wow. Now that's what I like to see. Look at that killer instinct. Put some respect on Mustafa's name. Let's go. You see this when he does crazy. that, he's not here to play. He's here to win. He's here wow, to beat you. That was Oof. a really nice body hit. This is just. He's going off right now. This is just a pace fight. He's about he's to be on him right now. Guy. It. And Pop is trying to keep up, and he might want to try to just get out of this round and refresh yeah, for the next this round. This is the first oh. round. It feels like the fifth for Popcorn. He's firing back with no stamina. He's, he's ready to die oh, like a Spartan. Yeah. He's oh, hurting. Another switch. He has almost all. He got out, though. Good job. He got out of the round. But oh my goodness. Look I at the output. He threw Stop 97 it. strikes. He threw uh -huh. 97 strikes. 44 of them significant. Stop it versus genocide. That would be crazy. But let's stick to this fight first. Man, Camus is really mixing up his strikes so well. Kicks to the body, and then he's coming up at the roundhouse. It's confusing. And then he has the other game by doing the crane kick high or low. It gives you a lot to think about on the scene. You couple that with good footwork. That's a that's a tough riddle to crack. That's tough. But how tough is Para? <laughs> how tough is Para? Cam is coming out heavy handed right now. Yeah, he's standing on a dime now, right in front of him, teeing off. Mixing it up. Oh, he's oh no. Oh, oh no. God forbid that got him. It is too late. Let's see if he can hold the top, though. It's going to be hard to do anything with this significant stamina disadvantage he's at now. See, he could have been doing this from the beginning. That's the thing. If you want to do something like this, you definitely you can't wait until you're, you're like dead to do it. Look how easy he got up there. Now you're in trouble again. Oh, man, his body is shot. I think Popcorn would have had a way better chance if he Oh, would have he wants to flash KO for sure. Oh wow. no. He's made he's making Stop. an example. Oh! Elbow! <laughs> what jam standing on his two and firing back. But no, that's too much, see? Oh, Oh, yes. He gets one more at the end. What a prick. <laughs> he is mean. Hey, say what you want about him. What a performance. He absolutely lit it up. He showed. These guys are both good, but he showed. He's, he's a level better. That was fantastic. Good job by both guys. Man, man. Stop it. You showed off in this fight. Man. You know, uh, popcorn. 
just go back and do what you do best, man. You know, if you know you're a grappler, maybe stick to grappling. I get it. You know, it's, trying to, it's, it's trying hard. To... It's hard. It's hard to, to come into the second round with that much stamina going. It's hard to come in with that much stamina going. Well, All just right. throw it out there in the first next, at least. Next, we got, we got Egyptian elite kickboxer versus Caven. This should be a fantastic fight. Raven. I have never seen a boring Egyptian fight, and I've always wanted to see him fight a bear. You've never seen an Egyptian fight? No, I've never seen a boring Egyptian fight. Oh, okay, okay. And I've always wanted to see him fight a bear, so... Always respect. Apparently, this bear has a win on Habib. All right. Egyptian with some great striking so far already. I think he's starting to take the edge just a little bit based off the body hits. Gibson's doing what he does. He's using good footwork to set up mixed strikes, high, low, high, low. He's got blistering speed and just laser precision. Beautiful. Craven with the front kick. Craven, Craven introduced him to the foot on that one. Craven's taking some head health from Egyptian. Yeah, he's standing tall. <laughs> and I nice don't trip. think these guys are going to be grappling. Nice trip by Egyptian, but yeah, I think if he gets it down there, he wants him to get back up. This is where he wants to be. He feels very comfortable on the feet. Labeled him with a body kick again. That was a nice jab, jab, cross by Savage. I mean, <laughs> sorry, by Egyptian. Nice push kick. He's really good at setting up, setting up that second strike with the first one, too. He pushed it back, and he knows just the range to let the big strike go behind it. Oh! Clinged him with a back foot roundhouse. And Egyptian is so technical. Yeah, he is. He really is. And he just keeps a pace. Look at that. One, two, three. He can fight moving forward or moving back, too. His footwork and, and really allows him to do a loss. He looks like he has some Taekwondo defense. You know what I mean? The way that he... Just the way that his defense looks. He's very Steven Thompson-ish, almost. But definitely not how he attacks. He's not easy to hit. He's, he's got good blocking instincts and he's got great footwork. Not to mention, he'll stand tall and intercept you with a shot. So. Not an easy task. You know, to hit this I, guy. I'm not too sure what Craven's path to victory is so far because I don't know what he's good at. Again, see, he uses that first strike to push him back and then smokes him with a switch kick. He's so good at setting up that second shot with the first. Oh, one, two, three, four to the body. Just the output oh, is phenomenal. Here, man. He is. Craven's eating some shots. He needs to. He needs to recover. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Nice oh, no. The punch. See, he and doesn't want to follow him up. Gets up again here, but... He just. Oh, oh my oh, goodness! Man. He's so comfy on the feet. I think if it was against the cage, he'd follow up. But he just doesn't want to go to the ground because he's so good on the feet. Wow. Again, Craven's tough though. He, he, he survived that round. Egyptian was pulling oh, on. Trip. Craven and Egyptian, round three coming in. Second round underway. Oh, second this, round. I'm yeah, sorry. this is round. This is round two. I, don't know why I thought it was round three. <laughs> Oof. Craven standing right in front of him and empty in the tank. That's... I don't know how great Craven's stamina is looking right now. Yeah, oh man. Well, you eat all these body shots. It can't be that good. Yeah, Another kick to the body. This is a five round fight, too. I don't oh. know. Oh, oh no. no. He smoked him with a big hook to wobble him and then a short inside hook to tuck him in the bed. Great fight, boys. 
Look at he's the small. <laughs> he starts them and he knows it. <laughs> Hit him with the starts. Look at this. Ding. Yeah. Short hook. Oh, yeah, short fast. lead hook. Right in the snout. In the snout. Strong enough to knock out a bear. Great performance. All right. This is going to be a great one. We got Edwards against the one and only Nikki Tyson. Nikki Tyson has some of the cleanest boxing I've ever seen on UFC 4. Amazing footwork and just absolute bombs. AMG looks like he's getting ready to go to war. Hey, Water, I've never seen him fight before, but let's see what he got. I've never seen any Water fight before either, so this should be interesting. But I hear really good things. I hear he's very balanced. And by the way, guys, AFG right here, Mickey Tyson is multi-talented. He was rapping in the beginning if you guys didn't hear him. It was awesome. Oh, man, he just got hit right there. Oh, nice uppercut. They are standing on a dime in training. Oh, man, oh, lots man. of body shots. They're standing in the pocket. <laughs> That's going to... Oh, good time. Oh, oh rocking. Man, he's spinning elbow. He is going for the kill right now. Mickey Tyson has red eyes right now. Mickey's moving forward. He's got to be careful. You don't want your back against the cage. Nice knee. He's telling him, come on, I'm number one. I'm going to win this fight. Edwards Ooh. pushing it back. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 my goodness. Edwards getting, he's getting caught with these overhand rights. Oh, oh big nice uppercut. uppercut. Oh, he oh, drops Nikki. And he jumps in the guard. Beautiful killer oh. instinct. Sweet to mount. That's what Nikki's going to do. Insane. He lets him up. He lets him up. Oh my goodness. He says, come on, I want to bang with you. Imagine that. I'm, flag I'm flabbergasted. I don't know what to right, say. I'll never let you out of mouth. Just start hitting somebody. Oh. You are in a competition. If you have the chance to win, do it. Oh, is this a kickboxing league? <laughs> what are we doing here? These guys have bombs in their hand, and they just want to kill each other. When they run into uh, Locke and MJ, they're going to be like, what the hell? <laughs> uh, Mickey Tyson got rocked by Edwards. Neither one of these guys want to take a step back. But man, they both got some mean uppercuts, man. Look at these guys. This fight... Is not gonna go to the finish for sure. No way. Nice spinning back kick. Man, Mickey Tyson really has some awkward uh, timing within his striking. A water protecting himself. Throwing the body front kicks and the knees out there. A water stamina is starting to get very low. Almost at halfway, just not even out around one yet. Nice uppercut by AFG. All right, and another uppercut. That's the ending of round one. Now we're going towards round two. Both of those guys were throwing bombs that round. Just checking out the replays uh, throughout round one. Round two hasn't started quite yet, but look at these uppercuts. Big uppercuts. Big uppercuts by both guys. They're trying to take each other's heads off. All right. In about a moment, round two is about to start. It's starting right now. Mickey Tyson. Touch gloves. Ooh. Man, these guys are throwing some mean uppercuts. Ooh. Oh, the hook. An uppercut. Stay oh. oh, man. He just knocked Mickey Tyson on his ass. Dropped him against the cage. He didn't the follow up. Of the cage. These guys, man, I don't know. <laughs> they want to see whose balls are bigger. Oh, he's dropped him with a spinning kick. 
And another spinny back kick, hitting him in the body and trying to go for the finish. Let's go. He's pushing him against this the cage. This is insane. This is why I tell you guys to finish your fights, because you don't know how it's going to go. He caught him dipping again. Oh, he's got him against the cage. Nicky Tyson is in trouble. He's oh, getting no. He's and he let him back up. Nicky Tyson's starting to look like Conor McGregor, Dustin Poirier, too. Hey, Water is confident right now. Oh. Oh! oh! Hey, Water! Looking hey, like Anderson water. Silva oh. with the Anderson front Silva. kick. Oh, the my spider. goodness. Hey, Water, what? the spider. Uh, no, I can't. You are now the spider, A Water. Well, Aldo, we said we hadn't seen him fight coming into this fight before. And we just saw that with Mickey Tyson. Do you remember him now? That was insane. I, I want to spar him. I will I will miss an A Water fight. A Water. Yeah. The spider. <laughs> All Last right. but not least, we got Moroccan Lion versus Banga. This is a big one. This is a big one. It's the last this, fight here on our card. This is our main event. Both of these guys love to kickbox. Everybody knows who Moroccan Lion is. Look at his attire. Flashy as always. Look at this guy's hair, man. Touching gloves. Starting off with a jab from Moroccan Lion. Jingo Banga holding his ground, standing still. Right in the middle, neither guy wants to move back. Moroccan Lion throwing a lot of volume. A little bit more volume than Draco. Very early on in the fight here. These guys are dark bombs. They are trading. Very good defense by both guys, but the outfit oh, is there. Oh, oh, oh. Rocked. He caught him with a backhand uppercut. Oh, it just got Jesus! Oh, oh my god, it is crank over. Kick. Crank kick, Moroccan Lion with the crank kick. Oh, that, that was crazy. That was crazy. Two crane kicks. One to Look rock him guy. and then one to put him away. Look at that guy. Bring that man a check. Bring his baby into the octagon. Get, bring his family in there. That was that was crazy. Where's Dana? He is Dana, actually. <laughs> what a finish to the card. That, how long was that? Was that two minutes? That what a knockout. <laughs> what did we see in here? Well, we just want to say thank you guys for tuning in. This is this is Natural Production. Can happen here. We don't know what the hell is going to happen on this card. I'm Helbos, and I'm here with my broadcast.